lá. Ah! Oh, hello there. Welcome. That was dumb. I'm I'm never doing that again. That was no. Nah. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just we're just gonna we're just gonna pretend that one never happened. How's it going, everybody? I'm Rogue Red, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be looking at more VTuber software because I have a problem, and the solution is computer stuff. I don't. I don't actually know what the solution is. If you have an idea, please send help. I need all the help I can get. Please, please send help. I'm, I'm, I might actually be in trouble. I, I think I actually have an addiction to this stuff. But anyway, today we're going to be looking at a program called VTuber Webcam for Linux. It's a very creative name. But in all seriousness, this is the program over here. It actually does look really interesting. It is a fully native uh, 3D, so it's a VRM VTuber program, and the only build is for Linux. It's VTuber Webcam Linux. It's just called VTuber Webcam. It's for 3D VTubers. It was made in Panda 3D, which is a game engine I actually have not heard of before. So let's go, huh. The open source framework for 3D rendering a game. Okay, so it's like, uh, it's like Godot, where it's a fully open source 3D game engine, but it's called Panda. And I kind of like that name. Yeah, so it's using Panda 3D, Render Pipeline, uh, Open Sea Face, obviously, Media Pipe, Tracking Library by Google AI, and Leap Motions SDK V2, which is the one that's compatible with Linux, um, that they just stopped updating as far as I know. I think that the actual SDK, like the Windows one, is at like V3 now. They've just completely stopped bothering with the Linux one, which is still stuck on V2. What other information? Uh, status prototype. Cool. It was updated four days ago and it was published a week ago. Yeah, I found out about this uh, actually, <laughs> I think about a week ago. Um, and uh, I tried it out a little bit on my laptop. It did not do very well on my laptop. So that makes sense. My laptop is very old. Kitsune One Team is the author and it's licensed under Creative Commons, attribution, non-commercial, share alike, V4.0 International. Okay, uh, I don't know the specifics of all these licenses. Oh, that's not what I want. Never mind. I have no idea uh, how to read about those. Donation alert integrations true for custom events on 3D scene avatar. Oh my god, this looks so cool. This is like... <laughs> This this is like everything we've been needing for a Linux VTuber program for 3D models. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to download that. And by download that, I mean I already have. And then we're going to try it out. So we will jump over to that. All right, so we are back on the desktop. I have downloaded it. And we're going to extract it to my programs folder. So we're going to go to... Ooh, doo, 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 I forget these go in reverse. Programs. Uh, we're going to make a new folder and name it... VTuber dash camera and we're going to extract it. All right. And now if we go oop, back and then into the programs folder, we should have a folder called. Why don't we have a folder? Did I extract it to the wrong place? No, hold on. Am I dumb? I might be dumb. Okay. Programs. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I am dumb. We extracted it here. Oops. Let's cut that and programs paste. There we go. Now it's in the proper place. All right, we're going to try this out. Um, I don't know what the executable is. It's probably the .sh file. That did in fact load up the thing. Okay, I've got OpenC face running. So let's see. Uh, oh, I need to pull up the I need to pull up the page again. Okay, so we got the hotkeys. Escape slash Q exit app, F3 slash W toggle wireframe mode, uh, P open the plugins configuration window, R reset the head position and rotation. Okay, so let's see, W, oh, oh, that's cool. And what was it for the P? P for the plugins menu. Oh, oh. oh. Okay. All right. Well then. 
Um, avatar. Okay, choose a VRM model. We are going to load up. This will actually be the first time everyone sees my new uh, 3D model that I just had finished up and had a little bit of tweaking done to it. And it, um, I'm excited. Uh, no, that's for 3D printing, which is, I don't know why I still have that. I don't own a 3D printer. I would just like to have one because 3D printers are really cool. Um, let's see, it's gonna be VRM, rent new, V2, final.vrm. Open up. All right, and, oh dear God. Um, okay, the bones are there. The node helpers are, okay. Um, hmm, oh no, oh no. You can do webcam based hand tracking. Hmm. Reset the settings of this plug. Yes. Uh, hmm. Oh my. This, uh, this seems like an issue. So <laughs> the model works. I promise you the model works. Hint settings with a gray color require application to restart when changed. They've all got a gray color, so literally all of them. Um, cool. I'm gonna try loading that again. Open. We're gonna close that. We are gonna open plugins again. Okay, well, we're gonna close it. Is it we're good? We're, we're gonna close it. There we go. And we're gonna open it again and see what happens. Oh dear God, it is not any better. Oh man, this is not good. I, uh,. I mean, I get it's a prototype, but I can't even load my model. I don't know if that's an issue with my model or with the software. I think the model is fine because if I go to OpenSeaFace GD, launch that and then load a model. And I open the model in here. Uh, it's a little weird right now, but uh, it does work. That's because, okay, hold on. Run the face tracker. Okay. It's because this is because of software, but the model does load, so yeah, that's just the open C face GD being weird. <laughs> um, this, however, this is this is a problem. I don't know what to do about it. Do I need to do I need to kill open C face running in my terminal? Maybe. OK, uh, all you saw was steam which I had open for VTube Studio. Um, okay, let's kill it. It doesn't want to close, so I'm having to X kill. Uh, this is, it is, it is definitely a beta. Not a bad beta. It's got some cool stuff. Okay, yep, now it's working. Uh, it's not moving my mouth, but it is tracking me. Uh, so it can see my face, it can see me, turn my head, and oh, Oh dear, you can see that around my head, it's all red. Hmm. I am a head, so this is, yeah. I, I did not think it would be this bad. You know what I am gonna try though? I'm gonna try loading my old model. Let's try that, let's try that, let's try that. Yes, reset, okay. And now let's choose documents, VRM. Let's choose my old model and see what happens. Okay, my old model does load, so it's, hmm, okay. So is it the naming scheme? It might be. It doesn't look that great. It's very, very pixelated. That may just be from the size, but yeah, my uh, original model loads okay. I, uh, I'm not crazy about it. It doesn't load the outline that I put on it, which is a little unfortunate, but it's something. This is, yeah, this is definitely a good proof of concept though. I'll say that much. This is very, very interesting. I'm curious at how this one will progress compared to OpenSeaFace GD, because that's the one I have the most investment in right now, is OpenSeaFace GD. I'm talking with the developer. He streams every once in a while, and I'll join his stream chat, and I'll talk to him a bit, uh, give him a little bit of live bug fixing. Uh, he hasn't been working on it right now. Right now, he's been working on a um, on a Game Jam game, and <laughs> I gave him the best terrible idea I've ever given him, which was to create a sort of pseudo kind of like a horror thing with like a disgusting amalgamation of shapes as a monster and uh, it was terrible and the greatest thing ever at the same time i both love and hate it 
Um, <laughs> so, yeah, if you want to see that, go watch his go watch his streams. You could also go watch my streams at twitch.tv slash it's Ren. Shameless plug on my own YouTube channel, so it's really not a plug. Go watch me stream. I stream four days a week, Monday through uh, Wednesday. I'll have a link down below, and uh, the schedule will be on there. But back to the software, this is kind of nice. Um, it's obviously very beta. It doesn't really do a lot, but it's a very nice proof of concept. I'm excited to see where this goes, especially since I've got so many interesting things like the donation alerts. Um, that's really cool. Uh, emotes. That's really cool. Um, the only other thing that has emotes right now, I think, is VC face or that uses open C face uh, is VC face because the same dev de developed both those. Uh, but VC face is locked to Windows only. They use some stuff in it that only works on windows you can run it on wine um wine's a little wonky sometimes though so i just gave up on it unfortunately that's why i haven't updated the video about running vc face and wine um my wine is really wonky it doesn't want to work with vc face for some reason anymore uh everything else i run it is fine it's just vc face i don't know why other people have run it in the same version of vc face on the same os with the same with the newest versions of wine and vc face and it works fine i do the exact same thing and it doesn't work for me i don't understand why but that's just how it is so yeah i can't keep vc face up to date when it comes to running in wine unfortunately not even the version i initially made my tutorial with works anymore i i'm at a loss for that one if anyone has any ideas feel free to let me know because i would love to know how to fix that vc face is a great program and i would love to get it working in wine again because clearly I'm the only bleh, words are hard. Apparently I'm the only one who can't get it to work in wine anymore. And I made the tutorial for it. So that's how my life is going. But these are cool. Uh, if this thing can get further developed and leap motion can get working in it. Oh, this thing wins. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> you and I am sorry. But this thing has got a it's, it's got leap motion. It's got hand tracking. It's got a camera hand tracking. Wait, where is it? Yeah, webcam based hand tracking. It that's an open C face? Team you and if you're watching this, you may want to look into this at some point. Not anytime soon, but at some point. This might be a feature you want to add. But yeah, this is really cool. Um, I'm not crazy about this. Uh version 1.0. I do not think it's version 1.0. Um, this seems like version 0.1. This is prototype build. Um, version 1.0 would be a full working release, and this is clearly not there yet. It's a great proof of concept, and I'm again, I'm super excited to see where this develops, and I will definitely keep track of it. Um, and especially, it was updated very recently. So, it seems to be under active development, which is really cool. That's really good to know. And I'm excited to see where the dev takes this. Also, I'm not sure if this... I think it's open source, but I'm not certain. Uh, let's see, development log, build number eight. Uh, oh, hey, someone asked for uh, GitHub. That, uh, yeah, yes, same. <laughs> is there a GitHub? I would love to know if there's a GitHub. If there is a GitHub for this, um, I would definitely want to be on there. I would want to list uh, some bugs and stuff that I've noticed, namely that not all VRM models load the same. That seems like kind of a big issue. But yeah, that's going to be uh, VTuber Webcam by Kitsune. What was their name again? I forgot already. Kitsune1. Kitsune1. Oh, it says it right there. I'm blind. But yeah, Kitsune1, if you happen to be watching this, you have made an amazing proof of concept uh, program. And I am super excited to see where you take this. This looks so cool. It's got so many good things uh, planned for it. And I want it to succeed. I really do. I know I'm very invested in Open Sea Face GD. I want this one to succeed. This has got a lot more ambitious goals than Open Sea Face GD does. Uh, Godot, just uh, Open Sea Face, Godot, um, or GD. Its main goal is just to get working. That is it. Will it track you? Will it move the mouth? Will it blink the eyes? Will it track your uh, pupils and irises or whatever they're called? I forget parts of the eye. Uh, if yes, then its job is complete. Uh, this one is aiming to be have to, as many of the same features as VC face as it possibly can. So the leap motion tracking, the notification integration, the expressions. This one is clearly aiming to be um, an alternative to VC face for Linux users. And I love that. I want that to happen. I don't have an avatar up on screen right now, so you can't actually see me talking about this. But just know that I am making all sorts of faces and hand gestures. And in fact, I think I'm going to move over to my closing 
to move my clothing. Blah, blah, blah. Words are hard. Move my closing thoughts over to my fancy animated background. There we go. So with that, that's where we're going to wrap up today's video. Uh, this program, again, I keep saying the same thing. I'm repeating myself over and over. It's a really cool prototype. I'm really excited for this. These features are really, really ambitious, and I want it to succeed. I want it to manage to find a way to do all these things, because this would be a fantastic program for people who want all the hand tracking, who want all the same effects that VC Face can give them or other things on Windows. This is the program that they will want. If they just want something that is works and is fairly easy to set up, I think OpenC Face GD would be the better option. But if they want the more advanced features, I think this is, will be the program that they need to use. Now, if you want to do 2D, still really nothing on the native front for that yet. Uh, V2 Studio is still working in Linux with Steam Proton. I'm still using that. That seems to be working well. Uh, Inochi 2D seems to be coming along fairly nicely, uh, but it's still we're still waiting on a final version to release for us to actually try it out and try rigging models. Uh, hopefully it shouldn't be too much longer. I've talked with Luna a little bit. She's made it. Um, she aims to have a working version, hopefully by the end of next month. Ideally, don't count that as a hard deadline. That's just the goal. It could take longer. It could be sooner. There is no guarantee on that. That is just the expected goal um, that could change at any point, depending on how development goes, because again, she's making this whole thing herself, which again blows my mind. I don't know how she's managed to do that. She's made an entire new animation standard for live 2D models. She's made a whole new rigging system for live 2D model for 2D models, not live 2D models. Um, just by herself because she felt like it. She's like, oh, hey, there's only one tool for 2D models. Well, I guess I'll make my own. <laughs> it's, it's great. I love her philosophy on it. It's open source. So when she's done making it, if she never wants to develop for it again, she can stop and someone else can pick it up and keep going. Uh, as compared to Live 2D, where if, uh, if what is what's the company say? Clover cover the company that owns Hololive and stuff. Um, if they ever go under and stop making the software for Live 2D, uh, everyone who's a Live 2D model is uh, shit out of luck. So, yeah, I'm excited that there will be an open source alternative and I will definitely be trying it out and I will be learning how to rig in it. And I have no idea how long that will take. But if I do uh, manage to get somewhat good at it, I may I may I may look into doing like rigging combustions or something or, uh, you know, G2D, which will be fun, maybe. Depends on if I get good on it or not, so. But that's gonna be it for today. Make sure you like and comment down below to let me know what you enjoyed about this video, what you hated about this video. Give me some feedback so I can approve this. Hit subscribe if you're not already. Just click it, it's free. And uh, it'll let you know when I post new videos. Except it won't, you have to actually hit the bell uh, because YouTube's weird like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on all my socials listed down below and I will see you all next time. Peace out.